Hi, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Today we are going to discuss about the topic percentage. Well, what is percentage? Percentage means that many hundreds, that is, x percentage means x hundreds and it can be written as x percentage as you can see over here to express your x percentage as a fraction we have x percentage to be written in the format x by 100 let us consider the example over here 20 percentage can be written as a fraction by dividing it by 100 to get 1 by 5 to express x by y as a percentage that is your fraction is expressed as a percentage then we have the format as x by y is equal to x by y into 100 the whole percentage consider the example over here I have a fraction 1 by 4 to express it as percentage I'm going to multiply it by 100 and I get 25 percentage so, 1 by 4 is nothing but 25 percentage. Moving on, we can use percentage to calculate the increase and the decrease in the expenditure. If we just consider the price of a commodity to increase by our percentage, then the reduction in the consumption so as not to increase the expenditure is given by the formula R by 100 plus R into 100 percentage if we have the price of the commodity that we use to manufacture a good to decrease by R percentage then the increase in the consumption so as not to decrease the expenditure will be given by the formula R by 100 minus R into 100 percentage. Moving on, we can also use percentage to calculate the population of a town. Let us see, we have the population of the town to be P initially and suppose it increases at the rate of R percentage per annum. Then the population of the town after N years can be calculated by using the formula P into 1 plus R by 100 the whole power N. Where your n is the number of years, p is the population of the town and r is the rate at which it increases. To find the population n years ago, we have the formula as p by 1 plus r by 100 the whole power n where p is your population and r is the rate of increase per annum. As you can see, percentage can be also used to calculate the present value of a machine or the machine's value after n years or the value of a machine n years ago. How? Let us see. If you have the present value of a machine to be P and suppose the value depreciates at the rate of R percentage per annum then the value of the machine after n years will be given by the formula P into 1 minus R by 100 the whole power n that is where your P is the present value of the machine and R is the rate of increase or decrease per annum where your n 
is the number of years. So the value of the machine after n years can be given by the formula. Whereas to calculate the value of your mission n years ago, you have your formula to be P by 1 minus R by 100 the whole power n, where P is the present value of your mission and R is the rate of increase or decrease that has happened n years ago per annum and n is the number of years. So let us see if r percentage is less that is if a has its value r percentage less than b then you can say that b is more than a by R by 100 plus R multiplied by 100 percentage where R is the percentage that it is less than B. If A is R percentage more than B then B will be less than A by R by 100 minus R into 100 percentage where R is the rate that is more than B that is A is R percentage more than B. We have our first interesting example over here. Well, these pattern of questions are important as it has appeared in government exam, bank exam and Wipro. We have a batsman over here who scored 110 runs which included 3 boundaries and 8 sixes. What percentage of his total score did he make by running be between the wickets? So. A batsman has scored 110 runs and he has hit 3 boundaries and 8 sixes. And the rest of the score he has earned by running between the wickets. We have to find the percentage of his total score that he made by running between the wickets. Let us see our options. Option A. 45 percentage, option B 45 5 by 11 percentage, option C 54 6 by 11 percentage and option D 55 percentage. Well the logic to be applied for this pro problem is that first you have to find the number of runs he scored by running apart from the hits and then we have to Add the number of boundaries and sixes to get the score that he earned by hitting. Subtracting the total score of boundaries and hits from the total runs he made, you will get the number of runs he scored by running alone. Then you have to convert those runs into percentage by dividing your total running score with total score and multiplied by 100. It is simple, you get the answer. Let us see how to apply this logic. As I said, the number of runs he made by running can be obtained by subtracting the number of boundaries and number of sixes from the total runs that is 110 minus the boundaries is nothing but 4 and the number of sixes is nothing but 6 so 
he has hit three boundaries so three into four and eight sixes so eight into six add it up you get 60 so subtracting 60 from 110 you get the number of runs he made by running alone that is 50 so we need to calculate the percentage that he has got by running alone so out of 110 runs he made 50 runs just by running so 50 by 110 into 100 will give you your percentage to be 45 so that is 45 percentage option a will be your answer